We're out at the farm here today. We've got a work day going on and we got our new Texas Hunter feeder. This is for a dock that we built just a couple years ago on one of the farm ponds here. We're gonna get this set up, show you how to do it. it. Takes a few tools, nothing hard at all, and we'll get it throwing feed. All right, we're excited today. We've got our Texas Hunter fish feeder here. We're gonna put it on our dock and install it today and show you how to do that. Super easy process. Everything you need that comes with it. We've got legs, we've got those over there. We're gonna put them in. It comes boxed inside, so you remove your lid, set it down. You've got your solar panel in here. That's ready to go. That'll keep our battery running for a long time. Hassle-free feeding, that's what you want. We've got our 12-volt battery in our screen, our panel. This is how we're gonna set the adjustments for feeding times. And again, this is the DF125 model. And this same setup will work for their other models. Uh, they're just larger in capacity. And the only thing different on ours is we're putting it on a dock, so we're going with the straight legs. If you were gonna put this feeder on the bank, you would wanna get the angled legs. So just make sure when you're on the website, you select which one depending on your application. But we're gonna go ahead and, and get this set up and show you how easy this is. All right, so the first step we're gonna do on our feeder, we have our legs set out. We have four legs, the straight leg variety. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is lay your feeder down on its side to do this. It's gonna make life much, much easier. Plus these legs are gonna extend down past this and set it up off the ground a little. One tip, with these bolts and the lock washers, when you insert them, go ahead and just get them finger tight. Don't tighten them down all the way. You've got a little bit of wiggle room the way this is designed. Get all four of those bolts in there with the lock washers and then you can cinch them down tight. All right, so we got our legs installed. So the next step is now to install our battery and our timer unit. This is the back side, the back door panel. The feed will be throwing from the front. You simply open the back door. You have your trays here. Here's a 12 volt battery. This is rechargeable. We're gonna put a solar panel on to do that for us automatically. This comes pre-charged. Never hurts to check it, but it does come pre-charged. That simply fits in the tray like so. Then you've got the timer unit that goes in this tray, wires hang down, and then we'll show you how to hook all this up next. All right, now it's time to hook up the motor wiring harnesses to our timer unit and then the battery. And you'll notice coming off the timer unit, you've got two connectors that are very similar. They have similar locking me mechanisms. They it's circular with a flat end, same here. And you've got a three-way and a two-way. So you want to, you have two wire harnesses coming out of your motor. So here's our three-way. So we're going to match it up with this three-way and you'll notice there's a flat edge and there's a flat edge on here. So those are going to connect and then those are going to lock tight. All right. So now those are connected and locked and then we're going to get our next motor wire, this harness, and this is the, the two prong one. Again, line up the flat edges. Those insert and lock, those are now locked. And then that leaves us with our battery, our power terminals. We're gonna hook these up here towards the end. And then this is gonna hook to our solar panel. So now that'll lead us into our next step. Now it's time to install our solar panel on the side of the feeder. Every side of the feeder has screws already inserted. You simply take these out. Now the main thing you wanna do is choose the best side for the sun's exposure. The more direct sunlight you have on this, the better it's gonna recharge your battery. Typically that's facing south, but you're gonna need to look throughout and think about the sun as it progresses through the day, where are the shadows gonna be? Where is the direct sunlight? You're gonna want this in the direct sunlight for it to work the best. So we're gonna take these screws out, attach our solar panel. We have a wire harness back here. We're gonna pull this out and we're gonna fit this through. You'll notice every side has this grommet so it keeps the weather out and this simply feeds through and then we'll connect it from the inside there. And then we'll attach it here 
and we'll be ready to go. We have our solar panel harness right here, and then we've got our connector to our battery, our time panel here. We're gonna go ahead and connect those. That snaps in place. Now we're gonna connect our power at our battery. So we got our red to our positive terminal. And then we got our black wire to our negative. We see we got power up here on the screen. All right, we've got our feeder located just where we want it on the dock now. And now the next step is to secure our legs into the dock. That way we don't lose our nice Texas Hunter feeder that we just got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna pre-drill my holes, and then we're gonna insert the lag bolts uh, with the washers and get those ratcheted down, get it secured. And then the last thing we gotta do then is fill it with feed and we're ready to start feeding fish. All right, so we've got our feeder fully installed. We've got the timer hooked up. We've got our feed time set. We've tested it. We've secured it to our dock, so we're good to go. The last step is to fill it with fish feed. And when you run these fish feeders, you wanna buy a quality floating fish food, something high in protein. That's what's gonna benefit your fish in your pond. That's gonna help them grow better. That's gonna help the brim and bluegill uh, breed better, have better nesting and everything. And, and the bluegill is your prey base for your pond. So you wanna take care of them by a good quality food. We're gonna fill this up. Then we're gonna do another test run, make sure it's throwing good and we're done. And our Texas Hunter feeder is gonna be here feeding our fish even when we're not.